Hey everybody, this is Professor Johnson. In this brief video, we're going to look at how to use regression analysis for forecasting. It's a really useful and powerful tool and relatively simple to do in Excel, so let's work through this example together so we can see, uh, see how to put it to use. The data we're using is from our Collier and Evans text. It's uh, Exhibit 11.11 .11 on page 239. So the data we produce here should match what we see in our text as well. So here we see we have uh, years 1 through 15, and we also have energy costs for a factory uh, for those same years. So starting with year 1, there was a little over $15,000 in energy costs, down to year 15, a little over $19,000 in energy costs. So let's say we were trying to predict, or wanted to predict, what our costs were going to be for year 19. Um, we go from year 15 all the way down to year 19. So let's see if we can do that. Here is our regression formula in uh, forecasting regression formula in Excel. Uh, it's forecast equals forecast per opening parentheses X, which is the period we want to do our forecast for. Our known Y's, so remember our Y's are our dependent variables, so our known Y's, and then our known X's, so our known independent variables. So we have all that information here, so we can put this formula to use. So let's go ahead and put our forecast here for time period 19 under the forecast column. And we're going to do equals. Whoops. So we're doing equals, and then we're going to type in forecast. I'm going to select forecast here, since it already has it there. Now it's asking for my x. So my x is year 19. Put in a comma. Now it's asking for my known y's. My known y's, my known dependent variables, are my energy costs. So I'm going to select all those. I'm going to put in another comma. And now it wants my known x's. So my known x's, my known independent variables, are the years. So I'm going to select all of those. Closing paren, and hit Enter. And there we go. We've got our forecasted energy costs for year 19, based on the first 15 years of data. So it would be helpful to know how reliable that number is, right? So let's, uh, let's do some thinking about that, about that. How reliable is this? Well, we can do a scatter diagram and also get our coefficient of determination off that scatter diagram from Excel and do that relatively easily. So let's, uh, let's look at that. So we've got our, got our forecasted number here. We've got all of our energy costs for year f 1 through 15 here. Let's select years 1 through 19. That includes the actual energy cost as well as the costs we don't know yet in the future years. I'm going to go up here to Charts. I've got the Charts tab here. If we were on Home, I would simply go over to my Charts tab, select Charts, go to Scatter Diagram, and I'm going to select the simplest scatter diagram here, and voila, it's there. We have our scatter diagram. I'm going to delete the legend because we don't need that for our purposes. So we've deleted the legend, make it a little easier to read. So down here on the x-axis, we have our years. Over here on the y-axis, we've got our cost, energy costs. And you can see that it goes from a little over 15,000 to a little under 20,000, consistent with the data in our chart. So now what we want to do is we want to put a regression line on this chart. And that's pretty simple to do. We're going to put the pointer on one of the data points, uh, do a right click, go to Add Trend Line. And we'll get an opportunity to add our trend line. We're going to click, uh, select a simple linear trend line. Then let's go to Options as well. We also want to display the R squared value on the chart. So we're going to we click that option, click OK. And here we go. We have our trend line, and we also have our R squared number, which is really important. So a couple, one, we can see from the trend line that this, the data points are very close to our trend line. Some are down, some are in the right on, but very, very close. We also have our coefficient of determination, or R squared. So remember that from statistics class. 
R squared is just our correlation coefficient squared. So R by itself would be our correlation coefficient. R squared is our coefficient of determination. And what R squared tells us is it tells us the percentage of variation in the dependent variable that is a result of the independent variable. So in this case, it tells us that 97% of the variation in our dependent variable in our energy costs is based on changes or variation in our independent variable. And in, th in this case, that's years. So 97%. There is some variability f that related to some other variables that we're not taking of account of here. Uh, but 97% is a result of uh, just the years marching on here. So that is a pretty reliable number. Now, in, from a business perspective, if there was something else, uh, another variable, that something else we knew was going to change in our external environment, we'd want to be careful about this 97% uh, figure. But all things being equal, uh, using uh, f regression, linear regression, to forecast our energy costs is a pretty dependable, uh, pretty dependable forecasting method based on the data that we have here. So that's it. That's all there is to running linear regression in